What if there was a world with no drama, no actors to convey the human experience? What if there was a world without choirs, a world without voices raised in harmony? Imagine a world without dance. Imagine a world without jazz, without tap, without ballet, without hip hop. Imagine the stillness. What if there was a world with no musical instruments, no musicians to express themselves, only silence? Imagine a world without art, without painting, without drawing, without sculpture. Imagine the emptiness. Fine Art is alive and well in Galena Park ISD. So whenever a student comes into my classroom and they say, you know, choir is not my thing, singing is not my thing, I always ask them to give, them a, to give it an honest chance. You know, I don't expect for them to come in being able to sing like Beyonce right off the bat. Uh, but what I do is I try to make them, I really try to relate the music that we're singing to whatever is going on in their lives. And a lot of the times, you see that spark in that kid's eyes when you know, they get the right dynamic and they hear what the choir sounds like and it sounds great, they get that spark in their eyes like, I wanna do that again. I wanna be a part of this. And a lot of the times that continues over, they're able to, to sign up for the program again with the confidence knowing that they're gonna get that feeling again next year. My choir director, she was amazing. She brought so much out of me. She helped me grow. She gave me opportunities. Not only did she help me get better at singing and playing the piano and music. She helped me come out of my shell in every other subject. And since then, and I credit choir for that. I can speak to people, no problem. I have better relationships with my teachers. In class, I'm not afraid to raise my hand. And it all started in choir. If we didn't have music in our classrooms for our students, they would not be able to achieve creating 21st century skills like teamwork, like communication skills or creativity skills. Uh, music is a humanity and it plays toward creating a whole human and teaching to the whole child. Students can come into music, especially when they're older, very shy to sing or very nervous to perform, but these activities and all these kind of dances and games generally open them up to where they can create a personality within themselves they probably never knew. Music's important, of, important to me because it inspires you, is where you can talk to, about your feelings but you can also sing it and you can let your feelings out while singing. And every time when I sing I feel like the stress I've been having like relieves off of me. Students need to feel valued and appreciated, which is how I was made to feel growing up in these programs. I never once doubted that my choir and band directors, I never once doubted that they believed in me and that they wanted the best for me. And so now, I would like to return the favor to the students of GPISD. Um, the reason I teach music is so that our students can experience the world through a lens of positivity and encouragement. Um, I do believe that we, a lot of uh, the fine arts teachers are the reasons why our kids come to school. They can't wait to dress out. They can't wait to play their instrument. They can't wait to pick up that paintbrush. And so that's what inspires me and I have to get up every day and I have to be here because I could change someone's life. If dance was not a part of my life and if it was taken out of my life, I don't know what I would really do because dance is like my happy place. Like that's where I go to dance. When I go to dance, like I'm, most of the time I'm trying to get away from something or I'm just trying to express myself so it would it would affect me like terribly. This is why I pursued education and theater provides the opportunity to come together and um, work with my students alongside. They are the managers and directors 
and they're the technical directors. So we work as a team. Well, before I joined theater, I wasn't very articulate with my voice, how I speak and stuff. I used to have a very bad stutter, but when I started going over lines and stuff and started thinking before I say stuff, it, it helped me out. I still kind of have that little stuff here, but it, it's kind of changed my life in a way, you know? Like, I can talk to people without being nervous. I'm, I have a lot of confidence now. I used to not have confidence at all. I used to be very shy. I used to be the kid just sitting in the back of the classroom with his head down. If I didn't have theater, I'd be, I'd be a lost soul, man. I, I, I can't really imagine me not being on this stage, not knowing these people, not bonding with these people, not having this family that I have here. I, I can't imagine it. My life with, without theater. When students first come to art, they come in kindergarten. That's their fair, very first exposure to art. When they begin learning, we start with learning the very simple I, things like lines, shapes, colors. Students create things that are filtered through their own experiences that they can share with the world. I think at this age, I teach um, middle school, and middle school for me is the most experimental, and so they learn um, how to be confident and just to make mistakes and just to create, and I think that's the important part of middle school art. I think the impact that art has on my students' lives is allowing them to be creative, to think outside of a box. So in other subjects, there is one answer to a question or to a problem, like a math or a science. But in art, there are multiple ways to solve a visual problem. There are multiple ways to um, express yourself. Uh, I have kids that come in early in the morning, sometimes beat me uh, to school, and I get here at 6.15. And, and they're working. And, and they're, they're working on things. They're excited to show me what they've worked on. And, uh, and, and they're passionate about it. They keep a sketchbook with them at all times. Uh, I may even sleep with their sketchbook. They love that thing so much. And, uh, but I see that some of it, it's nice when you see the other kids in the school come up to them and they're like, man, that's so cool, you know? And, and uh, they have their artwork on display and they're like, is that your artwork? That's amazing. And to see that big smile on their face, uh, knowing it makes them feel good that, that you know, they're recognized for that. And uh, students love recognition. And that's why, you know, we, we put lots of artwork out in the hallways and all. But uh, yeah, I, I don't, the world wouldn't be a good place without these uh, kids being able to do their art. So, and I'm really appreciative of the district for, for supporting them in that. Art is really a big influence in my life because it affects what I do here. Because I've had art for a lot of years now, going back to middle school, sixth grade, until now. I've kept with it. It's something I see as a passion. And without it, I'd be left with a pretty big hole in my life. When they set foot in the door, they know nothing about playing an instrument. Usually it's the first time they've ever picked up one. So that's kind of a magical moment when the kids start to begin to love their instrument. So I know most of the time you hear success stories about high school and how they eat, breathe, and sleep a band, but this is where it gets to start. And you know, the kids feel a part of a community. They have a place to fit in. We have dozens of kids here every day after school for, for hours and hours on end, taking private lessons, hanging out, doing homework, practicing. Where would they go? What are they going to do? How are they going to develop those interpersonal skills? How are they going to develop the practice, the work ethic, the responsibility? I don't know what Galena Park would do with all of these students and all that free time if Fine Arts Band specifically was just to disappear tomorrow. My passion for playing trumpet, it's everything for me. Every single day after school I come here and practice and practice non-stop. I eat, sleep, and Play trumpet. It's like my basic life. To me, to have an opportunity to help uh, mold and guide uh, these students. This morning, we were talking about um, the incredible value that this time in their life has. That um, how much the next three to six to seven years is going to affect the following thirty to such a huge degree. And to have this incredible opportunity uh, to get to be here and not only just to spend one class period a day, but the time after school and see them every day um, and have opportunity to, to build relationship and, um, and to build family like we do here um, is an incredible blessing. We teach them life skills. 
how to manage time, how to use resources, how to achieve a goal, how to meet deadlines. All this stuff, you can't get through life and be successful if you don't have these skills. We don't teach just music, we teach how to survive life. Every day I teach students from around the globe. The lessons I share with these undergraduate and graduate students are things that I began to know when I was singing in the choir at North Shore Middle School. The first music I ever composed was for my high school band. I was in GPISD for 12 years and I never once had a bad teacher. If I could go back and thank every one of those teachers individually, I would do it. How fortunate I am to have crossed paths with some very talented educators when I was so young and impressionable. We are all the products of our former teachers, our parents, the books we read, the places we go. I am just one story of many former students to come from Galena Park. We are all GPISD.